Welcome to Golden Software's video training for Voxler 3. Voxler is Golden Software's 3D data visualization program. Voxler can create many different 3D map types such as ISO services, height fields, ball renders, contour maps, and well renders. In this demonstration, I will cover using Voxler's color map editor. Click File, Open, select Dissolved Solids Render.voxb and click Open. In the Network window, click on the Vol Render module. Now, move to the Properties window and click the Ellipses button next to Color Map to access the Color Map Editor. The Color Map Editor dialog contains two sections. The upper section controls the opacity of the colors in the color map. The lower section sets the colors, the values being defined by the colors and the interpolation method. In the Opacity Mapping section, you see Opacity Mapping, Data Value, Level Ends, Opacity, and a histogram displaying the ball render's data distribution. The small boxes in the graph are nodes which show the level of transparency at that location on the color map. The nodes are connected with a line and when using a variable transparency, the line shows the amount of transparency across your range. You can choose one of the predefined opacity mapping options by clicking on the drop down menu. An opacity value of 1 indicates that the color is fully opaque and a value of 0 means it's fully transparent. If you select fixed point 2 as the opacity mapping, the entire set of colors will have 20% opacity. Fixed 1.0 is fully opaque colors for the entire color map. If you select ramp 0.0 .0 to 0.2, the opacity gradually increases across the data from fully transparent to 20% opaque. If you select ramp 0.0, .0 to 1.0, the opacity gradually increases across the data from fully transparent to fully opaque. The middle ramp has variable transparency depending on how the data is distributed. The data in the lowest quartile is fully transparent followed by a linear ramp over the middle half of the data. The data in the highest quartile is fully opaque. To display the volume rendering between two specific values, double click on the line to add a node, setting the data value to 10,000 with an opacity of 1.0. Add one more node and set the data value to 15,000 and the opacity value at 1.0. Click and drag the pre-existing nodes to adjust their values to 10,000 and 15,000 with an opacity of 0. If necessary, extra nodes can be removed by clicking on them and pressing the delete key. You can identify which node you are working with by the increase in size of the square associated with that particular node. In the color map section, there is a drop down that displays predefined color maps that can be applied. Select a few different color maps and see how the model changes. You can also create your own custom color map by adding nodes and selecting the color for those nodes. Double click on the line to add a node. I'm going to add a node to the same area of data that is mapped to an opacity mapping of 1.0 in the section above. Once the node has been added, I will select the color and choose a color for the ball render. I will also make sure that the data value for this color node is set to 12,500, which is right in the middle of the area we have mapped to the opacity of 1.0. Once a custom color map has been created, it can be saved and applied to different modules or future projects by clicking the Save button. This concludes the video training for the color map editor in Voxler 3. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.